Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dappy Diversity. So in this video, I wanna talk about the key ingredient to success in blockchain. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And as always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, so I wanna talk about this. The, I think is the key ingredient for success in blockchain, whether you're trying to become a blockchain developer, start a blockchain business, or whatever it is. If you're in blockchain in some capacity, I've thought about this a lot, and I've narrowed it down to what I think the key ingredient is, okay? And I've done this after talking to a lot of other people, right? People who have gotten in the blockchain space as developers, you know, as business owners. So the common thread between all of them is that I think they're trailblazers. All right, and I think that's the attitude and the character that everyone who's coming into blockchain needs, and I'll explain why, okay. We're still in the early days of blockchain technology, right? I'm a firm believer in this trend that it's going places, right? That's why I've created this YouTube channel as a way to teach people about blockchain technology and how to get into it. You know, I've done a lot in blockchain already and plan to keep doing a lot in the future, okay? I'm not going anywhere. So that's kind of the mentality that I've brought to it, that as being a trailblazer, right? I'm not bragging about that. I'm just kind of giving you the attitude that I've had and the attitude that other people have had who have had success in blockchain. And also that's what I think other people need if they're going to, you know, get into this space and do well. And I say that because I think a lot of people don't, you know, think about the fact that we're still in the early days, right? If you get into this space and you get frustrated really easily that, you know, tools don't work the way you want them to, that you have problems with the blockchain, um, you know, you're going to just bounce pretty fast because, you know, you don't have the patience to stick around and try to, you know, work through these problems because you don't see the reward as big enough and worth the pain that you have to go through, okay? So let me talk about this more. I want to clarify, you know, what does it mean to be a trailblazer? What are the actual, you know, qualities of a trailblazer that I've seen in the blockchain space right now. And, you know, also what are the benefits of being a trailblazer? Like what's the upside? Why would you want to do it? Why would you want to be in blockchain in the first place? All right, so let's break that down. Here are what I think, you know, the character traits are of the trailblazers that I know who are in blockchain, okay? So the first, you know, characteristic is that, that most people that I know who are doing well in blockchain are explorers, all right? They have the heart of an explorer. They want to go off into unknown territory and discover new things, right? That's, you know, fundamental if you want to be a part of blockchain because that's what blockchain is doing right now. There are a lot of unanswered questions in blockchain technology, and that's the kind of people that it attracts, and that's the kind of people that do well in blockchain, okay? So another character trait is that they are problem solvers and innovators, right? Not just problem solvers, but also innovators. They're, they're, they're solving kinds of problems that haven't been solved yet, right? So that freaks a lot of people out. They say, oh, how can I do this with the blockchain? How can I do that with the blockchain? Well, we have maybe high level solutions for some of those things, but sometimes we don't. And also the granular details aren't solved yet. And those are the kinds of things that we need people in the space to do. So that's really important for developers especially, right? And just business owners, like how do we, you know, create these solutions in a way that are viable for end users, right? That's the kinds of things that, you know, the trailblazers that I know are, are doing really well at, okay? So another aspect is that they're curious, okay? They always want to learn about new stuff, right? That's kind of what the kind of person that blockchain often attracts, people who are very open, open-minded, want to know how new tech works, you know, want to see how what we can do, okay? And they always want to know how things work or how can we do this, how can we do that? Oh, I wonder. It's this very curious attitude. Almost everybody has that, okay? Another one is that they're unconventional, okay? They're not necessarily, uh, well, they're willing to do things that other people aren't, or they maybe gravitate toward uh, solutions or, you know, approaches that other people don't, maybe because they just want to or th that other people don't see the option of, okay? So unconventionality is a pretty big character trait, right? They don't necessarily just want to follow the herd. Now, they're okay with following the herd when it makes sense, when the herd is doing the best thing, then follow the herd, but they're not you know, uh, that's not their only option. They're not tied to following the herd. All right, so another key uh, character trait is persistence, all right? They're people that do not give up easily. They're pretty tough, right? They don't just fail once and say, oh, this blockchain thing from is not for me. You know, I'm out of here. I had, you know, problem with my you know, <laughs> development environment or my business for one day, and now I'm out of blockchain. Like, that's that's not who is going to be successful, right? So uh, I see this all the time. You know, people get into blockchain, they just, like, download the developer tools and try something for a day, and then they bounce, right? They, they, they don't want to. Um, but that's not really who is going to be here for the long term at all. They might later, once things get better, 
but they're not going to be here for the early days, okay? They're going to be part of the herd, but that's not who's here right now. The herd is not here. It's the trailblazers, okay? So the next uh, big character trait is patience, <laughs> and that kind of goes with the persistence, right? So they don't necessarily have to wait for blockchain mass adoption to happen, right, in order to make the blockchain useful and also to... Uh, you know, earn money and make uh, profitable solutions with the blockchain. That that's all can be done right now. Trust me, I know. There's lots of people who have done it. Uh, there's lots of money that's been made in blockchain as the technology is right now. There's plenty of opportunity. You just have to know how to seize it, all right? And that's part of, you know, the upside of being an explorer, which is exactly what I'm going to talk about next. So why is it good to be a trailblazer? Like, what are the benefits, all right? The first major benefit is the upside, and that ties into the point I just made. Uh, anytime you're getting into a new space, a speculative space, a nascent technology like blockchain, it's greater risk, greater reward. You know, there's lots of uh, potential, right, to to come up with new solutions, be the first person to do something. And anytime someone is the first person to do something, there's lots of opportunity. Uh, that's not going to be available to people who come after them, right? And that's a big benefit of being a trailblazer, right? So also supply and demand. And this is really uh, important if you're, you know, a professional in the blockchain space and want to get hired, especially as a developer, okay? You know, the supply of blockchain developers is relatively small compared to other, you know, development fields. And the demand is pretty big. You know, I've talked about the demand curve on my uh, YouTube channel and several other places. If you've been a part of my blockchain developer bootcamp, you've probably seen this chart too. Um, there's a study put out by Hired.com that was showing that blockchain's growing uh, at a rapid pace of 517% year over year. You can go find that video where I take you through that. It's not some scammy ICO blog out there that's talking about blockchain to hype it up. This was Hired.com in their uh, state of software engineering report. Okay, So they talked about lots of other programming fields, and blockchain was the hottest, growing the fastest uh, by far uh, out of any other field. Okay, So another uh, big quality or sorry, another big uh, uh, benefit to being a trailblazer is the glory, right? And this is something a lot of people want. And it's okay to want it because if you're in here and you become one of the first people to do blank, to fill in the blank, then you get a lot of glory for doing that, right? That's not a bad thing to want that. It's, it's something that you can share with other people too. If you have a team, you don't have to just give the credit to yourself. You can give the credit to your team who helped you get there. You can give the credit to you know the people who built the tools that allow you to do it. You know, as more and more people, you know, check off that box as being the first person to do blank, it's good for everybody. It's good for the whole space. All ships rise really when we have success because it moves blockchain forward. It brings more users into the ecosystem. And it just means that more, uh, you know, spoils can be divided among more people, right? So the last uh, big benefit that I want to talk about to being a trailblazer is the journey itself. Okay, and this is something a lot of people overlook, especially when they get frustrated, especially when they don't have patience, when they don't have persistence, any of this stuff. It's because they failed to see the journey itself as enjoyable. Okay, so I think it's really critical to focus on this journey and not the destination, right? You can point your ship in that direction. You definitely want to be aimed uh, at the right place, but you want to enjoy the process of getting there because that's probably going to take, you know, a longer amount of time than actually just, you know, touching the actual destination and staying there for a little while, right? You're going to spend more time on the journey than you are going to be at the destination. So learn to enjoy it, right? And I think that comes from just, you know, noticing the pain, right? And, uh, you know, working through it, right? You know, you should, exp and I think it also, you know, deals with your expectations, I think a lot of times we're caught off guard by the fact that things are hard, that things take a long time, right? Or that, you know, there's all kinds of frustrations. Well, I think you can alleviate some of that by just expecting that it's going to be hard, expecting that there's going to be uh, frustrations, right? But knowing that there are great rewards to be had on the other side of those things. And that allows you to focus on the process and trust in that process and not just the result itself, all right? And that's really critical if you're going to be a trailblazer is to enjoy actually blazing trails like that's part of it you know it's not just about you know having the reward itself like the reward for trailblazing is the process of blazing trails all right that's really critical 
So if you're new and you're getting into blockchain, these are all the things uh, that I see other people who are doing well in blockchain. These are the qualities they have. You don't have to have every single one of these qualities, right? So don't feel discouraged if you're like, oh my goodness, I'm not this, I'm not that. You don't necessarily need all of them. The more you have, the better, right? And you, you might even have like one, you know, like really high and then the other's not so high. That's okay, right? I don't want you to freak out if you don't feel like you fit all of these descriptions, right? You just need some of them, the more the better, okay? And I also want you to take encouragement in this video that sometimes you just need to be reminded of this. Like you might already have these, uh, you know, qualities. You might just not realize it, right? A lot of developers especially are filled with self-doubt, the whole imposter syndrome kind of thing. And, you know, you might need a reminder of these qualities and kind of do some self-assessment and realize, oh, hey, maybe I actually do have these. Like if you're watching this YouTube video, um, chances are that you do have a lot of these things already. You're curious, you're learning about blockchain, you want to get into this field. So don't don't take this the wrong way. Don't beat yourself up. Just think about these things, think about the journey, think about all that kind of stuff, all right? So I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. As always, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.